if you are one of those who finds him or herself defending the school or the police who had 14 year old Ahmed Muhammad arrested and taken from his school in handcuffs for bringing a clock to school, then I would suggest that you take a few minutes and engage in some serious, honest self-reflection because I fear it's very possible that you are a huge fucking asshole. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, and I can't imagine you're watching this video and you don't know what I'm talking about, um, Ahmed Muhammad is a 14-year-old high school freshman living in Irving, Texas. He and his family are immigrants from the Sudan. They are dark-skinned. They are Muslims. And of course, when he brought a clock to school, a clock that he made himself or disassembled and reassembled himself or whatever he did to it, and I'll get into that in a minute, uh, one of his teachers was troubled by it and it was brought to the attention of the staff and the police were called and Ahmed was arrested and taken from his school in handcuffs under suspicion of having made a hoax bomb. Now, I don't know how anyone could have come to the conclusion that Ahmed intended to make a hoax bomb, given the fact that according to Ahmed, according to all of the teachers I have heard or read quoted in the media, according to the police statements on the matter, he never said it was a bomb. He always said it was a clock. Now, how the fuck do you make a hoax bomb that is not a bomb, is never announced as a bomb, is never claimed by its maker or carrier to be a bomb. In what sense can that possibly be a fucking hoax bomb? And how anyone can defend this is beyond me. And how anyone can view this incident as anything other than an example of reactionary, anti-Muslim bigotry and paranoia is also fucking beyond me. But it gets worse. The story last week, when I first read about this, was, oh my god, look what happened to this poor kid, isn't this awful? But over the weekend, a few internet know-it-alls decided to take it upon themselves to really examine the clock that Ahmed brought into school and do a little bit of reverse engineering and figure out that, hey, he says in the media and he says in his various public statements that he invented this clock, but this looks like he just disassembled a, a, a pre-made clock and just put its guts into a different container. Well, he didn't invent anything. All he did was disassemble and reassemble something. He said he invented it. I smell hoax. A 14-year-old kid says he invents something that it turns out he maybe didn't invent. He just took it apart and put it back together in a different container. Therefore, it's a hoax. And then people jumped on that and took it even further and said, well, maybe it's maybe his father. His father is a Muslim activist, you know. His father is one of them agitators. He's a troublemaker. He's always making trouble in that town where they live. Maybe his father put him up to it, hoping that some kind of controversy would erupt. Yes, because if that's what happened, that would surely absolve us of any charges of Islamophobia, not to mention the anti-Muslim bigotry binge that we have been on since 9-11-2001 in this country, barely pausing to take a breath the entire time. Friday night on his show on HBO, Bill Maher tried to talk out of both sides of his mouth on the issue, saying that, well, sure, the kid deserves an apology. He shouldn't have been treated that way. But then again, maybe the school didn't act so unreasonably after all, because that thing he made sure does look like a bomb to me. And as if that wasn't ignorant enough, Marr goes on to say on that show, you know, I know that he's young, but people his age who are Muslims have blown themselves up before. And he even says over the last 30 years, it's been one culture that has been blowing shit up over and over again. Ask someone in Saudi Arabia what that one culture might be. Ask someone in Iraq or Afghanistan or Iran if there is one culture that has been blowing stuff up over the last 30 years, ask them what that one culture might be from their perspective. You think they'll say Islamic culture? They'll probably say American culture, and they'll be right. Not right as in we're the only ones doing it, because of course we're not, but 
from the perspective of a Middle Eastern person being asked, is there one culture in the world who's been blowing stuff up for 30 years? They're, they're probably going to say us. And they have plenty of excellent reasons for saying that. For an American to say that there's one culture in the world that's been blowing shit up for 30 years and it's Muslims is so appallingly ignorant and bigoted I can barely comprehend it. And yet people say these sorts of things on television all the time, unabashedly. And what really galls me is how many of them identify as atheists and are proud public atheists. And the rest of us have to deal with the fact that some of our most prominent celebrated figures are completely comfortable saying absolutely shockingly ignorant, hateful, racist things about Muslims. It feels like this has been hate on a Muslim week, doesn't it? Because even before the Ahmed Muhammad story broke, there was uh, Sam Harris once again attempting to start a conversation about Islam as though we need him to start that fucking conversation and as though he in any way is qualified or the appropriate person to be starting this conversation. By the way, speaking of atheists who are constantly embarrassing themselves and the rest of us by saying bigoted things about Muslims, check. Top of the list, Sam Harris. But after that came the Ahmed Muhammad story. And then after that, over the weekend, came the apologists and the conspiracy theorists. The internet private eyes, the self-appointed investigators who took it upon themselves to look under the, the hood, to look behind the curtain and see what's really going on about this Ahmed Muhammad situation. Those tweets he posted seem a little too perfect. A 14-year-old kid was arrested and taken from his high school in handcuffs. A 14-year-old kid who did absolutely nothing wrong. A 14-year-old kid who is a member of a group that, in this country, is a despised and demonized minority. And so many of us, rather than talk about that, would talk about whether or not he really invented that clock or not. Yes, by all means, let's talk about that. Let's distract from the issue with that. Let's waste everybody's fucking time by reverse engineering that clock and trying to figure out if he disassembled and reassembled it or if he really invented it. Because that's the real story here. Where that fucking clock came from. That's the real story. Not the ignorant, reactionary, anti-Muslim bigotry that caused this entire thing to happen in the first place. Not the fact that that boy's teachers or those cops saw the brown kid from the Muslim family with the suspicious looking device and immediately jumped to that conclusion. Yes, clearly that's not the problem. It's, well, I don't think he really invented that clock. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself, please.